Today, I went on my first field visit where we met a woman named Priya who lived in a really remote village. I can't even call it a village because it was a desolate place. Um, it was like sand everywhere and she was in the smallest hut. Her husband left there many years ago and the signs of epilepsy were there, there to see. And so the diagnosis was made at that point to be confirmed clinically, but clearly she had leprosy. We had to break that news to her, which was really hard. We did have to stop feeling at one point because she was obviously very distressed. Now that she's been diagnosed with leprosy, the worst thing is that most of Priya's arms and legs are already numb. She's so vulnerable to injury and disability, she's afraid that she won't be able to work and provide for her children. How must she feel to be that vulnerable? Uh, it's heartbreaking. Then she talked about the fears of living in this really remote area where thieves and robbers uh, move around at night and where snakes can threaten her two children. Um, and it was just really difficult actually to, to, to bring more bad news into that situation, to see um, you know, how many blows she could take. We're not many miles outside the city of Batacaloa, but we might as well now be in the desert. Um, this is a barren land and Priya lives in uh, real poverty. You know, we all love a day at the beach, but what if your carpet was sand? Because that's, the floor in her hut is sand. And when I look in there, I see gaps in the roof and we've just finished the monsoon season. Imagine going to sleep and having water pouring in. Um, I notice there's an umbrella on the bed and I should imagine she needs that even inside the home when the rains come. And to add to all of those challenges in her life, we now add the diagnosis of leprosy and all that that will bring into her life. I can't imagine how she is coping with everything that life is throwing at her. This is just one case, and this case has broken our heart this morning. You can see how distressed she is, but we know there are so many more people that we need to find here in Sri Lanka, in fact, not just here in Sri Lanka, across the rest of the world, case detection is what will eventually see an end leprosy. It's vital that we can fund this work. We need to get out into the villages, out into the rural areas, in, so that we can find and rescue people like Priya uh, and just walk, walk with them on this journey through leprosy and beyond into a new life. It's clear to me that without the leprosy mission, there really is no hope in this situation.